I would like to show an inside out turning. This is a method of turning involving several steps that can create ornamental figures like this where there's a cutout and a an hollowness of the object. This is done sometimes for tree ornaments, for example. And normally you turn the inside first and then you uh, configure the blocks, reconfigure the blocks and turn, do another turning on the opposite axis. So it involves uh, combining blocks. Here I have four identical components, two by two by eight blocks, and they're glued together with paper at the joints so that you can turn this combination and then break the joints, reverse all the uh, blocks, and then turn the other end of the blocks. So it's a double kind of turning and the first turning is done so that the inside shape is done. Uh, but in SketchUp I find it it's easier to, and more deterministic uh, to design one of these things if I do the outside shape first. And what I've done here is I've created a profile and then uh, created the turning from that profile using the follow me tool. Very simple process. Uh, so now that I know what the outside shape is, I'm, I can know how to size the blocks and, uh, and also it helps me, if I know the outside shape, it helps me figure out how to do the turning on the inside. So what I do after making the outside is copy a block, a quarter block here, over to the turning and I see that I'm missing the axis of this turning. Let me see if I can recreate that axis just by drawing a diameter and then and then uh, the midpoint and then bringing that up and I've got a uh, the axis of the turning. I need to know that because this block, this corner block, has to, this corner right here is the first axis of turning. The second turning is done on that corner of the block. So here I'll bring this uh, over to the, maybe, let me go down first and see if I can get this connected here. There we go. And I will do select all now and explode and do a intersect faces with selection. And I've got a lot of uh, cleanup here. I'm going to turn on x-ray so I can see what I'm deleting. Uh, I can just do a 
right to left and knock out a lot of material to a right to left here and let me see if I can squeeze it in here delete delete and I got a couple more things to do oops let me I, okay and here let's get rid of x-ray and that's what a the, uh, one of these components would look like when you un take the uh, turning apart at the paper seams and then you would uh, make in SketchUp I'm going to make this a component and then uh, copy it red axis flip along red and so I end up with a, a shape uh, and now that I have that shape I, I need to figure out the inside turning and this helps me uh, by uh, using this I, let me use the the original part here was a two by two two by two square two comma two with the rectangle tool and so here is the the diagonal of that square and so that's the next turning will involve this this corner of of the piece uh, so um, what I want to know is how much of a cutout cove cut do I have to make in the next turning that cuts in cuts into this face and and creates a hollow uh, element. Uh, so I know from the profile here of the turning that it's the fattest at 1 and 11 sixteenths is a dimension of the fattest part. So I know I need to cut in to that dimension and let me just mark that 1 and 11 sixteenths on this diagonal. That's close. 1 and 11 sixteenths. There's a little guide point at that thing right there. So I know that if I turn from this corner with a, a cove, um, it it will cut into this uh, if I go in more than one eighth more than one eighth is going to cut into this face here so um, I have created on that diagonal I've created another profile with the cove cut here and this one and uh, five sixteenths I will make a cutter out of this 
a profile. Um, using follow me. And picking the path. Follow me. Edit the group and click on the face and close the group and I've got the cutter and I need to move the quarter piece and also I want to pick up this this little part here and bring that over here. Uh, I want to ro rotate this. Rotate this 90, 180 degrees. Take this corner now that where the turning is from. Yes. And connect that to this center here. And again, do a explode and intersect faces with selection and then a cleanup so I do a thing here Do a little bit more. Delete. Get rid of all of this. Get rid of this. Oops, don't go too far. Knock that out. There's just a few more lines you have to be a little careful with this right to left because anything that it touches will uh, will be deleted and this whole center is gone so that empties the center I can get rid of this just have to piece this, I guess. And do I have enough? Yep. Yeah. I can get rid of this. So, I've now got a final quarter of the piece. And I want to make that a component and copy it. Well, what I'll do is just rotate copy. So I will tap the control key and go one and then type X4, uh, 3 or 4, whatever, and I get the final product. And it looks clean. You see all the joints that are now glued back and a hollow inside just as it was designed.